Hello and welcome to Wycliffe Middle School. This is Brad Lyer, Director of Business Operations and Human Resources for the Wycliffe City Schools. So currently we're looking at the, the 1963 addition to the building. The area right in front now was the original 1915 part. And then this additional area was added in the 1920s and early 1930s. And then the final addition, which was added again in the early 1960s. This is the large gym as well as our music classrooms. In the basement of Wycliffe Middle School, this is the main electrical input for the building. This system was installed in the early 1960s. Behind these doors, these are the original coal bunkers in which when the building was heated with coal-fired steam, this is where the coal would have been accessed by the custodian and fed into the boilers. These are the current boilers. We have four. The one on the far end is currently offline and unusable. The third boiler is currently not used but is available as a backup. And then the first two boilers here are newer and are used to heat the building in the winter. This is a typical classroom at Wycliffe Middle School. Currently, this would be considered about 300 square feet smaller than what is suggested by the state of Ohio. Small gym at Wycliffe Middle School. This was part of the 1920 addition to the building and was the original gym for the high school for many years. Currently we have some structural issues in the small gym where original walls, this was an originally an exterior wall, are failing. Increasingly, we're seeing student and staff health needs that require air conditioning. Because this building has no central air conditioning system, we are obligated to install window air conditioning units. Window air conditioning units are both loud, inefficient, and unsightly from the exterior of the building. This is one of the most significant issues at the middle school. This area is currently not compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Students who need to access our band or choir room who are in a wheelchair or otherwise unable to reach those rooms have to be carried to that area. This is the cafeteria floor at the middle school. One of the structural issues that we have in the building is that the floor in the 1963 edition of the cafeteria is sinking. You can see the tile cracking here. Um, this area of the floor is between one and three inches lower than the rest of the floor. This was built over what was the original 1915 facade of the school. This is an extensive repair, but necessary at the middle school.